the government have made a series of adverts warning the public to stay home, protect the NHS and save lives. With the healthcare system already struggling prior to the coronavirus outbreak, it is now more important than ever that we support the key workers battling on the front line of COVID-19. The pandemic has encouraged the nation to come together to help our health heroes protect the country. One example is the big NHS lunchbox who started a Facebook fundraising page to provide meals to NHS staff in hospitals around the North West. I saw a news release on the coronavirus. Doctors and nurses are absolutely getting nailed. You know, they weren't getting a break during a 12-hour shift and stuff. And I just thought, well, how can we help? Um, so our friends own uh, two Subway franchises, but they've managed to open their kitchen up. So I thought, well, it's, it's no brain. It's not easy getting into the NHS because they want to know what's in it. Do the sandwiches themselves contain coronavirus? And this is all for charity, you know, at the end of the day. So we came up with the big NHS lunchbox brand. We've raised six grand so far. And this week, come Friday, we'll have done 1,000. So we'll have fed 1,000 NHS frontline workers. Currently, as it stands, there are over 275,000 confirmed cases of coronavirus in the UK. And over 38,000 people have lost their lives. This figure shows just how hard NHS staff are working around the clock to protect the UK and save lives. How important is it for the UK that we have a state-funded provider rather than privatised hospitals during the coronavirus pandemic? We are in a country that is the majority of people are what you class as maybe working class or lower middle class. The majority of people are on a, a lower income. When it comes to healthcare, you shouldn't be putting a price on it. Currently, in the coronavirus, it, it's just become so obvious, hasn't it, how much we need the healthcare system at, at the drop of a hat. I couldn't imagine what it'd be like to have that panic and then go, where can I go? Who can I talk to? We can. If I Let's say I found out now, I know for a fact there'd be a helpline I could call. There's an app being developed via the NHS and the government. I could go to my doctors, which is just down the road. I could go to a at any moment. And I don't even think about that. If we didn't have that, I, I, I honestly think we'd see double, triple the, the numbers. A survey by Unison has shown that NHS staff are overworked and underpaid with four in five NHS workers saying they have to work more for less money. Chloe, you're a nurse on a Covid ward at the moment. Do you think social media has brought people together to respect the NHS more? I think it has brought people together and I think as a nurse, and I can speak for like probably like the majority of the nursing force, so sometimes you feel like you're not appreciated at all and you don't really get many thanks. But I feel like now all this has happened, hopefully it'll make people realise that we are like severely undervalued. They'll think that, yeah, we do actually do an alright job. (laughs)